And joining us now is the Hill man himself, Greg Hill from WAF. So, Greg, I mean, you talk on the radio for a living, so I guess I'll let you do your job. Tell me in your own words, what is the Howl at the Moon experience? It's Bourbon Street meets Boston. Yeah. Without the trannies. I mean, it's like you're going to, if you want to go somewhere and sing, dance, hear any song you want, enjoy some great food after work, late at night, then you're gonna absolutely love Howl at the Moon. Yeah, now you walk in and, you know, sort of what's it like from the moment you walk in, there's a ton of energy going on in this yeah. place. And there's a ton of music, right? Yeah. I mean, well, you know, we, we've got entertainers that come in from all around the country, all the different Howl locations. We got Berkeley students who are in there playing. So you're gonna hear great music. Uh, you guys playing the guitar, the girls playing pianos. It's, it's just an unbelievable atmosphere. They're not gonna deny the song you want. You just go up, tell them what you want to hear. They're going to play it for you. Delicious food after work. Uh, I especially like the great big drinks. I don't mm -hmm. know if uh, if you do. I think probably you'd like a big bucket of uh, uh, Yeah, I, I, I could dabble yeah. in one or two without yeah. a doubt. Now, I mean, I know you're on a rock and roll station, and they play a lot of rock and roll in there. So do you ever, you ever get up on stage, jam, rock out a little I, bit? I'm partial to Kenny Rogers and The Gambler. That, I, that's I, not exactly rocking out, Greg. I, I happen to like that song. I think it's perfect at a, at a bar like that. you got to know when to fold them, Greg. Uh, I think we should just fold this interview right, right now. now. We're yeah, done? It's, uh, no, right. I'm okay. just kidding. I'm not leaving before we talk about your food at Howl at the Moon. It's not just a bar, not just music. Every single table I'm in there, they got a giant drink and they have an equally giant plate of chicken nachos. That's an awesome appetizer. Yeah, well, we're down in the financial district, so we're dealing with people who may have had a rough day on the, on the market. They <laughs> lost everything. Yeah. They want to come in and get a big plate of chicken nachos. We sell more chicken nachos than anything else on the menu. The, the guys do a great job with them. They're delicious. I like sour cream and guacamole. I like the everything on them, and, and uh, they're big, and they'll they'll uh, great for a, a good group of people to share. Or perhaps LB could eat it by himself. I'm saying in theory. Could he take that whole thing down? His doctor has advised that he not do that <laughs> That's any, anymore. Something tells me he doesn't listen to his doctor's advice a lot of the time. <laughs> All right, now, you mentioned the giant cocktails. You were nice enough to bring in, and, and not that anybody in the studio was partaking in any of this before the show, yeah, yeah. but you have cocktails that aren't exactly in a highball glass. You serve them by the bucket, Greg. Yeah, I mean, we got <laughs> um, ounces and ounces of, of drinks here, and so that you can share them. The economy stuff, I think people probably want to go in. That's true. With their friends, and uh, or in LB's case, as you said earlier, he could handle this himself. Perhaps. But, um, <laughs> a great variety of, of uh, buckets. We got great big bones. You can get all kinds of delicious drinks and share them, and, and uh, you know, everybody gets a different straw, so there's no uh, sharing of disease or anything Well, like that's that. a great thing. Yeah. Much like Phantom Gourmet Studio, just yeah, totally yeah, disease yeah. <laughs> free, as far as you know. Germ free. Yes, we were tested right before the show. So people share the drinks, they also share the food. I mean, you have other stuff besides chicken nachos, obviously, so and it's all just kind of like finger food shareable stuff, oh, right? We have great sliders, great pizza. We've, uh, you know, you're gonna love the black and tan onion rings. I mean, I think there's a wide variety of food after work and late at night that you're gonna love. All right, so where is the place exactly and what should people do they wanna come on? We're, uh, we're on High Street, Financial District. Yep. Come down, if you wanna uh, use use your name at the door, then you should be able to get right in. Just say, Dan sent me. And, yeah, and that's we'll, that, that works all over Boston. Yeah, and yeah. we'll throw it on your tab. I'm very wild. Both, both brothers have been there at, at uh, I, I'll come in. I okay. usually you can't see me because right. my head is you know right behind yeah. the 86 ounce cocktail. Dave, Dave was up there <laughs> singing Lady Gaga. Now that I believe. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. We'll see you at Howl at the Moon okay. coming up. We'll get a taste of the most comforting dessert ever: caramelized apple bread pudding. Plus, who needs scallops wrapped in bacon when you can have lobster wrapped in bacon?